Okay, once more with feeling. Hi, hello, welcome back to the Forge of Fiesta. I'm Dove. This is part two of a take three, I guess, but take two for this part, kind of weird. Anyway, let's fight this guy. And, um, let's fight this guy. Okay, so we're gonna just, we're just gonna hit him really, really hard. He's gonna start with our shakers, I think. And event, I'm just gonna hit you really, really hard. Um, just gonna break a rod, I guess. I'm gonna break a rod, I guess. So uh, this one. Why not? This boss. Um, fun fact: you can cast float on yourself and then reflect. He'll spend the whole fight trying to um, cast 100 Gs, which will dispel float, so that he can do air shakers, but it'll reflect. Also obligatory, hi everyone, welcome to the visual guide for Delta Escape 2.0, otherwise known as O2N. I'm going to be making that joke again here in a minute, so getting a good handle on it now is pretty good. Why did I defend? I should have just attacked. It's not like you counter with Earthshakers, as far as I know. I think this should be enough to survive a second Earthshaker. Yeah, it should be fine. I should have used Enhancer, though. Yeah, it's enough. Barely, but enough. So we're just gonna do some punchy punch. This guy doesn't have a lot of health. Um, I remember in the original video, see the previous for details, um, I remember gushing about how much fun Delta Escape was when it was current. I suppose everything happens for a reason, but, you know, whatever. We get that. I'm here. I'm gonna tent. Just in case I get into an errant random battle down here, but I don't think there are any. Also, I don't care about any of the bo uh, boxes ever. I don't care. None of them really interest me. Hi there, you were trapped and now you are not. Mwah! Kiss of death! Whoops, to give away the surprise. Okay, is everyone good? Everyone full? Okay, you're gonna get a chicken knife. And I'm gonna get a save point. In fact, let's go ahead and actually no, I know that was already backed up. In case the OBS thing happens again, which I'm still salty about. So we're gonna go up here, around here, through here, up here, and into a random battle right before the door, probably, or right around here. Nope. Okay, cool. But now we're gonna get one in here, which is worse. Oh no! Okay, nothing like trying it again. Ah! Okay, we're good. It's Halicarnassus, otherwise known as O3N. My name is Dove, and I'll be your horrible joke guide. The first mechanic to running any good ra I mean, joke into the ground. And it's already Lemma's turn, so I'm just gonna wait for a bit. That only worked on those two. Joy cookies. I love wasting turns. God, this battle went so smooth the first time around, too. Actually, we're gonna do that. No! Mm, why? Oh! Why did I not look? I wanted to say I'll have Ferris just do rapid fire real quick. And then have Bart's use a Maiden's Kiss. I hate everything. This went so perfectly the first time around, too. Halicarnassus did not get a turn. Now someone's probably just straight up dead. Good. Rapid fire. I remember getting like four crits too. Like there was a lot of cool stuff that happened in those videos that I've had to scrap in the ether. Am I gonna see lightning outside through my blackout drapes again? That's a fun story. Ask me about that sometime. At the time of this recording, which is like, I don't know, eight weeks ago as of this upload, probably. Auto haste has kind of become a crutch for some of these bosses because they don't do a whole lot while I just burn them down forever. Okay, you didn't 
do any damage. Helicarnassus is kind of not that much of a boss, except for critical hit. The rivet in the very beginning is very annoying, but the uh, critical hit is even more annoying, because it basically is instant kill. It's like quad nines, essentially. Now, I'm going to risk one more boss. I'm going to go ahead and do that, because I can. Actually, never mind. I'm not going to risk one more boss. I'm going to do one more boss and then go. And up here is another fun boss, Twin Tomia. Otherwise known as Turn 5. Wait. We're just going to pop a bunch of normal potions. Okay, I'm going to do a daring strat here because Len is not going to be contributing that much directly to the battle. I may as well make her invincible. So just keep it. I'm actually going to give you the enhancer as well because I don't expect another random encounter right this second. Famous last words. Okay, cool. Okay, we're just going to straight up rapid fire. I don't think you counter these. Quintania is a fun boss, or can be, but is also one of the most difficult of the normal bosses in the last dungeon here. Okay, you chose not to counter, which is very good for me. That's Tidal Wave. That's going to be a high potion on Ferris. That's two Tidal Waves. That's going to be a Phoenix Down on Ferris. Actually, no, that's going to be a high potion on Self. Kryle is going to elect herself if she lives. Yeah, I saw Windows doing the Windows thing. Raise. Cure. Hey, Windows, what are you trying to do? I don't know what you're trying to pull there, Windows. Why am I rapid firing? I'm not intelligent. With Bart's, no less. That wasn't very smart of me. That's gonna be a tidal wave that kills. It's not gonna be a tidal wave, I guess. You're gonna elix yourself. You are gonna rapid fire because you are my damage shield. Bart's may die, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Right away, Bart's is dead. You're gonna high potion self. Ice storm, that's bad for me. I should have had an ice shield equipped. That's fine. Raise and cura self. Because you living is a little bit more important than everyone else at the moment. Okay, thanks. Now let's just have Lena be the only one alive. Unless this is death, and then, you know, cool. Joy cookies. Got a wave. Nope. Okay, so Lena's the last one alive. Fine. Dual cast, res, uh, Kryle, and Ferris. Assuming you lived that long. Okay. You did live that long. Since bosses don't give EXP, it doesn't matter if Bart stays on the ground, but I'd like him up anyway. Um, Elixir on Kryle. So that way she can survive a tidal wave. Into rapid fire. Tidal wave. That'll heal Lena. Who will then dual res um, Bart's and Fares. Uh, Kryle can elixir herself if she lives. I am livid. I am absolutely livid. I am so mad at OBS right now because this battle went so much better than this it is currently going. The first recording that I can't use because it had no audio. Actual anger. The battle was going flawlessly. The, the boss was dead by now. But whatever. Tidal wave. Okay, well. If, if Cryo lives! Uh, 
about. If I sound indignant, again, I apologize. Just having to scrap two good episodes where everything went really well. I'm not even gonna bother. Elixir self. Rapid fire. Defend. Doesn't matter. Bart's does not matter here. There we go. I figured that would do it, but, you know. Having to lose some really good smooth boss runs to an audio issue that I literally could not recover from was absolutely awful. Cool. Now I need you to check the, uh, check the quipping knife. Standing by it. And um, heal everybody up. I would go back and save here. I should actually go back and save here. Um, just if I leave, I have to go back through all of the funness, so... Let's drop another elixir, because they're kind of candy. One, two, three, four, five... One, two... You're fine. Potions for everybody that needs it at this point. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna go back and save. Hold that thought, actually. Okay, so about here-ish is where I'm going to pick up just to show that this is, in fact, a one-way door. And where it comes out of specifically. It comes out here, so I go back around and down through the save point. Which I'm going to go ahead and do. I get an encounter with Iron Giant, so... Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're back here. I wasted an elixir because actually there were no encounters through all of that. But you know what? I'm going to tent anyway, even though I'm literally full. Then I'm going to save. And then I'm going to cut back to where Twintania died. Have fun with that. Okay, and we're back here. We're back here again. Keeping the chicken knife on. I actually no longer need the coral ring. Uh, not for right now. Um, we're gonna go Hermes Sandals. We're just gonna go. Hey, no random encounters this time. That's already better than the previous one. So, I no longer need chests for pretty much the rest of the game. None of them are really worth. I will point out one in particular, but yeah. Uh, this one down here is a Fuma Shuriken there to the right, you can, like, barely see over to the right. And, um, I'm probably gonna be glad I saved. I don't know. Preemptive. Okay, good. Thank you. Up here is Gilgamesh! I don't know if I actually have to hit him. I'm just gonna defend here. Actually, I should have just dual cast and protect, but whatever. I think I do have to hit him once to knock some sense into him, but mm, whatever. I don't think you can actually kill him. Why did I defend? I should have thrown enough attacks. We'll find out in a sec. Yeah, I have to, I have to actually. But it's Gilgamesh! Haven't seen you, buddy, since you were thrown into the. Oh, yeah. How you been, buddy? How you been? Uh, I'll throw around for text, I guess. You attack me again, I'm gonna hit you again. It's- yeah, it's us! We told you that before, you know, when we said, Hey there, buddy. Also, zounds! That's a lot of uh, creatures. You are right there, buddy? Unless it's peasants, if you've been fighting Zounds, even then, Zounds is like, what, thousand? No, Legion is over a thousand. Zounds is like, what, 500 to a thousand? I don't know, someone who knows Heroes of Might and Magic, tell me how much Zounds is, or I'll look it up between takes. Also, we exit, we just go down the stairs, back there, and to the, yeah. Let's go! Also, once we're out of here, by the way, we have an airship, Gilgamesh, it's pretty cool. I have a few spectacular adventures, and by spectacular adventures, we just throw back a few. But first we gotta destroy a tree. Hey Gilgamesh, how level how high level is your botanist? Just out of curiosity. Consider me uh, uh <clears throat> Yeah, just kidding! Just kidding. Pride and all that. Bye dude.
By the way, there's a Fuma Fuma Shirk in there if you need, buddy. Okay, so from here I pretty much ignore every chest. God, everything was going so well too. I was on the boss before a save point and my audio just died. It was so bad. Orgamero. Run. No. Garbage. Okay. Thank you. They don't like to be insulted, the random encounters, I guess. But like, hey, we call you trash mobs for a reason, so... Okay, so from here, I remember not to go up left early because that's not where the thing is. Also, that box, that box right there, that that box, that's Shinryu. I'll show that off after this, after the boss. I'll show it off later. Not now, later. Scrubbing around here. And last but not least, over here. By the way, this is technically optional. And remember way back when thank you. When uh, I said that uh, you could skip Gilgamesh next to castle and it would cause this boss to be skipped here. I think it's this. I don't think this shows up at all and when this boss dies it gives you your final save point if you skip that battle. So have fun with that knowledge. Uh, we're going to equip you with the enhancer. And, uh, I already know how I'm gonna open this, so that's gonna be fun. So, this is Necrophobe. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna hit that, where I'm gonna, um, use this magic lamp. Twice. So that's gonna be a good opener here. Yeah, that, that does some damage. Ooh, that's the damage. In the first video, I had three crit rapid fires hit a barrier, and I was really sad to have not had that going forward. If that could die, though, that'd be swell. Okay, so I'm gonna hold your turn here. I guess that's the one I'm going for next, because I need to heal up afterwards. I should have just Leviathaned, actually. Okay, Flare on the Barts is okay. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and Leviathan, assuming Lena lives. Okay, Lena lived. Perfect. Just so I can do some more damage out going there. Flare. On Ferris is not great. The next round of spells are kind of not really all that much, so that's fine. I'm just gonna aim at you. Jump on you. I know I've already hit the back one a few times, but like, okay, perfect. Let's hope that doesn't hit Necrophobe, actually, now that I think about it. Dual cast. Kira. Twice. Barts now doesn't have a whole lot to do. Unfortunately, but yeah. Let's go. Okay, so that didn't do anything for me. Uh, and... This is actually going significantly better. So I wanted to use the magic lamp, lamp twice there for a reason. The next hit is Odin, and I need to save magic lamp Odin for a very specific part of the final boss. Just a normal Kiraga cast, that's anything. Yeah, that's nothing Akira can't fix. I may as well do that. If this crits, oh, okay, would have been really cool. I'm um, gonna just dual cast Kira. And so there's a scripted thing that happens with this boss if you, um, well actually there's a scripted thing that happens with this boss, but yeah, that should kill it. Yeah. Now it's now Necrophobe is just gonna be annoying. Okay, so 
Actually, mm, man, I'm so bad. I'm so mad. I th actually, I think rapid fire doesn't check for this, so... If so, we're actually golden. Rapid fire just does not check for accuracy. So Necrophob is now hilariously weak against every element, or was originally anyway. Libra, Libra this guy if you ever get the chance. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Gonna break rods. Hilariously weak against every element. And I was trying to hold before my damage, because it was like... Oh, uh, you know, I know a thing is gonna happen, so I don't want to kill this guy all in one go. And then I noticed that my sound- it was at this point in the fight, of this fight, that I noticed that my sound for both previous parts, both this and the last part, did not- we're, we're just not good. We're, we're just gut- good, no. So, yeah. Hurricane into a crit- into a vacuum, maybe even. Okay, well. I'm gonna go ahead and elixir at this point because I kind of don't care. I have enough for the final boss is all, all that matters. I got 25. I'm not even gonna use all of them probably. Here we go! It's Gilgamesh! Complete with theme music. Hi, Greg. Why, hello there! A little bit. Actually, I'm not at all, but the first time I saw this, which was my second playthrough, yeah. As if. Okay, Brig. Calm down there. You're still gonna fight? You're gonna be the first to die. So we're gonna have a nice little one-on-one -on -one here. Can I even hold a birthday candle to the blazing flame of my winning spirit? <laughs> That's not even a holy localization, Batman. Gilgamesh is just a big ham. Undaga. Well, actually, that hits pretty hard. This is now really touching. He was a pretty strong guy. Thanks, Gilgamesh. You must fall in love or something. Okay. You still know how- wow, screw off. Hey! Elixir. That's their- that's Gilgamesh's own elixir. Selfless towards animals is a very polite way of putting that. Ever lose that pure heart? Yeah. Bites. Wanted to fight you one more time. Mono a mono. Admirable companions, I mean. Gilgamesh. We all know what's coming. Looks like Gilgamesh has been in the wind run. We don't get anything for that battle, by the way. But that turns into our last save point. Now I'm going to cure my status here, and I'm gonna cottage. And yep, uh, OBS has got audio, so cool. I never have to redo this part again until next year. Or if I do the encore again. You have to demand it if I don't. You gotta smash that like button and hit that bell. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm never gonna know that you want to see more of this video game. Smash that like button.
Holy jump cuts Batman. Told you I was gonna show you this once. I told you I was gonna show you this. So one thing I did is I de-equipped the holy thingy off of you. And you get a coral ring. This'll be fun. It's a trap. This is Shinryu. And if I'm really lucky, I can get this off first real quick. A crit would have been nice. Oh well, not that I'm gonna win the fight anyway, but you know. Rapid fire! Rapid fire! If I can just do some damage! This might not be the most hopeless thing in the universe, it probably is though. Tidal wave! Look how hard this is gonna hit. Yeah! Without coral rings, you just plain die. So let's res you and you. Before, like, Atomic Ray or something just ends this battle. Shinryu is the easier of the two super bosses, by the way. But, okay, that's fine. I could just do some damage. I store okay, so that's just GG at this point. Yeah bye. So you get the idea. Um next time, end game. Final boss and ending and nothing else. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Love your faces and peace.